Hello Aries, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, this is your reading for the 22nd through to the 28th of February 2021. Um, the cards have been pre-shuffled Aries and um, to get your energies in into the um, various packs. Um, so I'm just going to do a final shuffle and then we'll get straight on with your reading. Um, just to say as always it is a general reading Aries so it, it won't resonate with all of you so take what resonates and, and leave the rest behind so let's see just get a, a card from the Moonology um, Oracle cards there we are and then a final shuffle of the Tarot of Dreams sorry Oracle of Visions <laughs> Oracle of Visions Aries there we go there we go so um, Aries first of all we have the new moon in Virgo and this is saying it's a time to give rather than take right so a time to give rather than take okay just put that over there to one side um, and then from the Oracle of Visions we have number 44 um, and this is about unison having common goals uh, shared values and being at one with others so going going with others in the same direction if you like so I'll just put that that over there and um, okay let's see where we're going here so a final shuffle of the tarot of dreams this is this is one i was getting mixed up with just lay them out for you there we go So at the bottom of the deck, um, Aries, we have the Nine of Coins. Um, and this is the, um, I call this the independent woman um, energy, but it, it isn't gender specific. So we've got an imagery here of a woman. So whatever gender you are, this is the independent person um, having authority over your own affairs, over what you're doing, having autonomy, um, personal control. Um, working hard, you know, looking after yourself, perhaps um, working for yourself, perhaps, or being autonomous and self-sufficient. Um, all right, so so that's at the bottom of the deck. And um, just a final shuffle of the Lightseer's Tarot. We have a card that's flipped over, and it's the Ace of Pentacles. And this is about a gift or an offer coming in for some of you something um, that's promising abundance of some sort um, abundance can be abundance of energy um, abundance of wealth money career or abundance of opportunity for 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 example as well or it can be abundance of you know appreciation of, of the good things in life um, but i'll just pop that back in and we'll just do a final shuffle now but it's certainly a promise of some form of abundance of some sort. So I'll just lay these on top in the same order. And at the bottom of this deck, yes, we have the Eight of Wands here. And again, this is about rabbits, something, something coming in very quickly or it's... Um, rapid communication or events moving forward very quickly and that may well include communication and, and with this imagery i always think of the internet um with that sort of very instant communication uh, and that can go both ways can't it so i'll just put that to one side also um just a quick mention before we get fully into your reading aries that um Mercury that has been um, appearing to go retrograde in the heavens um, 
is will be going starting its forward motion right at the beginning of this this reading um, period so it's, for some of you that means the breaks are off so the period of reflection and reviewing and um you know things sort of slowing down a little bit so the breaks are going to be off so if there's anything that you need to be taking action with and going forward with um then you know from from the 22nd that's a good time to be um getting those wheels in motion um and as i say we have the eight of wands there which is a very um sort of fast action fast communication um events moving forward quickly sort of an, an energy okay so um so at, at the heart of your reading now then aries we have the faith card and we have the queen of swords um and faith this is about um you know having trust trust in um in a process trust in something um have a deep faith in something um that it's going to work out okay don't lose faith don't lose heart over a situation um and then the clarifier is the queen of swords and this is when we have to use logic um over the heart energy use logic over emotion think deeply about something um the queen of swords energy and it's, and it's not gender specific but the queen of swords energy in particular um she doesn't you can see here she's got her heart locked away it doesn't mean she doesn't access her heart energy but when she's having to think something through she uses her mind just purely her mind it's a very very mercur mercurian um, energy for the queen of swords and and she doesn't um she doesn't suffer fools gladly either so you know things have got to be right and just and fair so it could be that um for some of you aries uh, as you are keeping the faith if you like um you're needing to give some deep thought to something and and and, and this um religious figure here looks like he's very deep in thought doesn't he so having to give some deep thought to something don't and not allowing your heart energy to get in the way for others of you you may be giving some deep thought to um a queen of swords energy that may be around you or or may represent uh, yourself for some of you aries that if you are a queen of swords energy then you know you're having to um stay strong about something now, so what's on your mind at the moment? Well, we have the Emperor and we have the Ten of Cups. Um, the Emperor is your um, energy within the Major Arcana, within the Tarot, Aries. Um, and so, you know, this could be representing your, you know, your thinking of yourself, thinking of the power, control and autonomy, perhaps, that you have um, within a family situation. Because here we have the Ten of Cups, um, and that, that is very much a family situation, abundant within the family. Um, and so you, you're thinking about this and perhaps thinking about your position within a family situation. Um, if it's not about that, then this is, you may be feeling that you need to have more um, power and, and autonomy, um, but definitely within a family situation. Okay, um, for others of you, Aries, this may be saying also all that, that within a family situation there is somebody else. If the Emperor is not reflecting yourself, Aries, then you may be thinking about somebody that somebody else in the family that has um, a level of power and control. Okay, at the root of this we have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is um, when you were you or somebody around you was carrying a quite a heavy weight uh, a lot of responsibility um but but that had to be dropped it had to be released um this has already been in this has already happened because it it's at the root of this situation so something that that weighed you down or somebody around you down um in the past um 
Then we have the six of wands, so and then and that's about success and achievement, celebration, and other people acknowledging your success. So I'm gauging that at the root of this situation, that as you dropped this heavy weight, um, it was very successful for you. It it was such a relief, and and enabled you to be um, successful and achieve in 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 some area. So past influences, we have the Eight of Wands again, and we had the Eight of Wands already here at the bottom of the deck. So here we here we see it again um, as a past influence. So there was some form of um, a rapid communication, very energising, pa perhaps passionate communication uh, that came in. You can see these ones are coming inward. So I feel this was something that came in um to you and it was something that you were hoping for we've got the star here and it was something you were holding on to hope for in the past so you were very hopeful about this communication coming in it was almost a wish a wish fulfilled for some of you so that led on to the present situation where you are holding on to faith now, having to keep faith while you're thinking something through with logic. So I'm just drawn again to the, these two cards. So um, the Nine of Coins and the Eight of Wands there. So I'm, I'm just wondering whether um, this is either yourself, Aries, this independent person, or is this somebody you're thinking about also? Is this somebody around that um, there's been you've been communicating with? For some of you. So, going forward, we have the Page of Wands and we have the Eight of Cups. And um, the Page of Wands, this is, um, the pages are the messengers in the Minor Arcana. And they bring um, new experiences, new opportunities forward. Um, and the Wands are about passion, um, energy, action, movement and change. Um, Sometimes they represent um, career opportunities um, or relationship opportunities even. So the page of ones here going forward, um, this is about a new um, passionate experience or opportunity. Now the clarifier is the eight of cups. So we have the eight, uh, number eight again. Um, and the eight of cups, the cups are about love, um, ro romance perhaps sometimes, relationships, it, things that are meaningful for your heart. It doesn't have to be about relationships. It could be anything that um, makes your heart sing, if you like. Um, but the eight of cups, as you can see with the imagery, this is um, somebody walking away from a situation, somebody leaving, um, something that's not worked out. You see the fire burning in the cup there. So um, now this can be um, either sort of a combination of walking away, but walking towards something, Some, walking, leaving something that's not worked out, but walking towards something, uh, the sunrise there. Um, now it can be either physically walking away and leaving, or it could be an emotion, emotionally um, or mentally, or, or a combination of all three. Um, so that's a clarify for, um, so perhaps for this um, new um, passionate opportunity that, that is around going forward, um, for some of you, you're having to leave something behind to head towards this. So leave something that, that's perhaps not worked out properly for you that's not right for you anymore and you're having to leave um, and head towards whatever this new experience is going to be here for you, for some of you. And I'm drawn again to um, this number four, 44 energy which was about shared values, um, 
at one with others, going in the same direction. So is this where some of you are heading for, Aries? Heading for this direction? And is that what the Page of Wands is, is promising, perhaps? This opportunity. But remember, it's a time to give rather than to take. So just, um, just keep that energy in mind for some of you, Aries. Now, this is what this is what your guides, um, Aries, your guides or the universal energies want to say to you now. So we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Two of Swords. So the Seven of Wands, this is about um, defending yourself, being defensive. Um, you, you know, you have the higher ground here, but there's lots of different perspectives being um, coming in at you here. Um, and it's just standing your ground over that, defending yourself, and defending yourself successfully there. Um, but the clarifier is the Two of Swords. Now, this is when there is mental conflict, and perhaps a difficult decision, something difficult to be looked at, a choice to be made, perhaps. But it's so difficult. You see the young lady here, she has a, a blindfold on because she doesn't want to have to look at what the dif what the decision is. But it's creating quite a bit of mental conflict for her, things going over and over in her mind. Um, quite a difficulty. And, and, and that's clarify for, you know, feeling like you're in defensive mode um, because of other people's opinions and viewpoints. So this is just something else that the universe and your guides just want to make you mindful of. And, you know, that this could well have something to do with um, this, this situation going forward. So a new passionate opportunity or uh, experience in the offing, um, so which, which will lead on to movement and change. Um, but it, would, it does mean um, perhaps walking away from something and heading towards this and, and it could be because of that for some of you that there's going to be some um, differing of opinions, disagreements that you know can cause you a little bit of uh, mental conflict and obviously these energies don't last, they won't last forever but the universe and your guys just want you to make you mindful of that to prepare you for that. Okay. I'm just going to get a bit more information about those two cards for you. Um, okay. Because we have had two cards of communication, haven't we? And, and then at the root of the matter was you were having to drop a, a, a load of responsibility, but feeling very successful as a result. Um, but it could be that, you know, not everybody around you um, is agree in agreement with all of that. Um, Okay, so could we have more information for the Seven of Wands um, and the Two of Swords, please, for Aries? More information for the um, Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords, please, for Aries. So for the for the seven of wands, um, Aries, we have the eight of pentacles. That's another eight. So if you're into numerology, Aries, do look up um, eight or uh, multiple eights uh, and see what um, the the message is behind those. Because you've had quite a few eights come out in this reading. Um, the, the eight of pentacles is the hard working card, um, and. It's, it's having to balance everything, balance the books, balance all the um, uh, demands on your time, for example, all the, the chores that need doing at the same time as um, everything else. And so, you know, working hard, keeping the cogs running smoothly. Um, so th that's, that's the Eight of Pentacles. 
and um, that's a clarify for the seven of wands so you know I feel that you know you are working hard um, balancing keeping the cogs going doing everything that you need to do being diligent um, but you, you are still getting um, objections to something you are still getting people that are disagreeing with what you're doing um, and you're having to defend yourself even though you're working hard and balancing the books and keeping things running smoothly you still feel like you're, you're in defense mode that you're having to defend yourself um, against other people's opinions okay to a greater or a lesser degree it'll be something different for all of you Aries and then the two of swords which is um, you know mental conflict um, and this is the, it's about a completion okay we've got the world card here so there's an ending of a cycle of some form something is completing for some of you Aries an ending of a cycle an ending of something um, but it's a transformation there's something's coming to an end ready for going forward in a new direction so it's a completion of something that needed to be completed, ready for going forward. But it's, it's creating this mental conflict and I feel... Okay, so if we look at these cards all together, um, working hard, um, balancing the books, keeping money coming in, keeping cogs going, um, and because and and then there's something completing there's an ending of a cycle here um, but you're having to peep there's going to be disagreements people are going to disagree with 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 possibly with the ending of this cycle um, and this could be causing you a little bit of mental conflict because it means you're going to have to make a decision of some sort um, of course, you know, endings that are, are often when with new beginnings, there are choices and decisions to be made. And not everybody will agree with the direction that, that, that we take, with the decisions that we make. But ultimately, um, you know, you have to make, you have to, you've got free will. So you have to make decisions that you know are right for yourself and perhaps for those that you love and those around you. You know, as long as it's not causing harm to anybody. Um, that's the important thing. I mean, and it could be that that's where the mental conflict comes in, trying to do the right thing, not just for yourself, but for everybody else. Aries. Okay, but remember, these energies won't last forever. All right, and something is definitely completing. So I feel you're going to know, you're going to know which way you're going, you've got to go forward. And ultimately, you know, um, the answer lies within yourself, Aries. You have the answers within yourself. You instinctively will know um, what's the right thing to do. So I'm just going to get two more. Could we have two more messages, please, for Aries concerning this reading? Two more messages, please, for Aries. 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. Two more messages, please, for Aries. Right, so we have rejuvenating rain, um, clear the past and that will heal the present. So rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. All right, so something completing and it will bring a level of healing with it and, and to heal the present. And remember we had a time to give rather than take and then finally we have grounding so go deep and explore your roots 
Aries, fantastic. Keep grounded. Um, whatever, however, whatever it is that brings you to that peaceful place within yourself. So to bring you to bring you out of your mind, whatever's going over and over in your mind, it's important. I know you know we can't get away from having to make decisions, sometimes difficult decisions. But sometimes, you know, we just need to have a break from that and just go and sit out and lean against a tree um, and have some peaceful time, and which will help to ground you. Okay, lovely messages. Okay, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading and it's given you a little bit of uh, clarity and support in what in the situation that you find yourself in. Um, but good luck going forward and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye bye for now.